Welcome to the Thursday, May 24th, 2012 edition of Erner Berry's Daily Video, sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors. In today's video, catfish processing falls in April as the industry moves away from its peak buying season. And later, how record high dark turkey meat is putting money in Hormel's pockets. Now let's look at the markets with your host, Jamie Chadwick. After years of trading down to limited service restaurants as a result of the recession, consumers appear to be ramping up their spending on casual dining, according to a new market research report. For its restaurant industry tracking survey, Dectiva asked diners where they were spending their money across the restaurant landscape, from limited service, which includes quick service and fast casual players, to casual and fine dining. In the first quarter this year, consumers said the percentage of their dining out dollars spent at limited service restaurants dipped significantly for the first time in a year, while the percentage of their restaurants spent at casual dining restaurants climbed. Respondents devoted 37.7% of their restaurant spending to limited service restaurants during the quarter, a decline from the range of 41% to 42.1% during the previous year. Meanwhile, consumers said they spent about 41.1% of their dining out dollars on casual dining restaurants, up from the range of 38% to 39.4% seen in 2011. For a more in-depth look at consumer spending on food away from home and for other news in the food service industry, please visit foodmarket.com. Now, Seafood.com news writer reports on a decline in U.S. catfish processing in April following March's peak buying season. Farm-raised catfish processed during April 2012 totaled 22.5 million pounds around weight, down 5% from April 2011 and 18% from March 2012, the industry's peak buying season. The average price paid to producers was $1.17 per pound for April 2012, which was down 3.4 cents from last month, but 2.6 cents above a year ago. Net pounds of processed fish sold during April 2012 totaled 12 million pounds, which was down 14% from the comparable month 2011 and 18% down from March 2012. Sales of fresh fish at 4.63 million pounds were down 10% from April 2012 and represented 39% of total sales. Frozen fish sales at 7.37 million pounds were down 16% from a year ago and accounted for the remaining 61% total of fish sales. Sales of whole fish represented 21% of the total fish sold, while fillets accounted for 59%. The remaining 20% were mostly steaks, nuggets, and value-added products. Finally, total end-of-month inventory increased 3% from last month and was up a whopping 135% from a year ago. Thanks, Michael. To wrap up today's video, poultry market reporter James Serpico explains how record-high dark meat turkey prices have contributed to a better bottom line for an industry participant. Yesterday, Hormel Foods reported a strong second quarter where earnings rose 17% despite lower sales of refrigerated foods. The company attributed the positive figures to strong demand from their Genio turkey store line of burgers. Turkey burgers are most, mostly comprised of dark meat, such as drumsticks and thigh meat, which until recently have seen record high prices according to Erner Berry statistics. Frozen thigh meat, for example, hit a record high of $1.47 per pound in February, up 10% from the same time a year ago. Cuts in production have been credited with helping achieve record high commodity prices of thigh meat in recent months. When paired with an industry-wide increase in demand for items such as burgers, sausages, and brats, prices clearly shot up. For Jenny O, it is apparent that the company benefited from increases in consumer interest as their retail tray pack and turkey burger net sales rose 7%. It should be noted, however, that the thigh meat market has been depressed as of late and prices have fallen from record high levels. Mexico's influence in propping up market values is not nearly as pronounced as it has been. The peso can be stretched further utilizing current, currently cheap pork hams and they're attracting interest from providers of finished goods to the detriment of turkey dark meat. Currently, thigh meat in May has averaged $1.08 per pound, down 17.5% from April and 26.5% from February's record high. Thanks, James. That concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and see you next time. This broadcast is sponsored by Eastern Poultry and Food Distributors, wholesalers of poultry, beef, pork, and seafood since 1954. Visit them online at epoultry.com.